Ah, uh, yes. It's that time. It's that time again. Distorted Reality Podcast. We're Distorted Nation Radio. Beats Reality Check TV. With your hosts, Secor from Distorted Nation Radio and Shell Razor from Reality Check TV. With your Kevlar coated comments, it's time to distort your reality. Hi guys, and we're back. Hello, everybody. It feels good. It feels good. We got a we had a productive day, and um, I don't know what podcast this is. We decided last time that we're not keep track anymore. So I don't think we said that. <laughs> I just think we t- listen. Wow, that's what we said. We said the people I had a meeting with said we're not keeping track. So uh, well, the voices you- in your head don't count, man. <laughs> See, see, with the podcast, you can do episode whatever. You know. Oh, I know. So, you know, here's the deal, guys. If you're tuning in for the very first time, I want you to understand our style is you're always, we're literally starting in on the middle of a conversation or a thought. You're not really sure what's happening, but that's up for you to figure out. So, with, this oh, is yeah. what is that, true. That's, that's, that's the great idea. This, this is Let what is the true. Let the listener decide on what's going on. Go to YouTube and you'll see all our episodes. We just don't have them all up on all platforms right now. That's what I meant. No, you know, well... So, they're not no. uploaded to um, Facebook. The last three haven't been posted on the iTunes yet, but they will be this week because I'll make sure that happens. And Distorted Reality Podcast is up, and they're and we're gonna we have to put upload like twenty seven podcasts. It's fine, guys. We and got it soon. All the podcasts because I'm working on everything right now. The the the, 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 the Spotify's. Okay. The Spotify? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then, you know, that'll be under our little So thing. there's, like, iTunes, there's, uh, there's, like, a bazillion podcasting platforms that we're on that I don't even know all of them. Nope, but, but I feel like, I feel like right now, where we're at, Corey, is explosive, okay? The, well, yeah, the last we... year, we've talked about stuff that we're gonna do, and then we had some breaks, and we, we had a lot of real-time conversations, but we also talked about what we're gonna do in the kind future. Kind of also just kicked us into overdrive in the last month. Right, and so so now, because we kind of got prompted a little bit, we, um, we're we not talking about what we're gonna do anymore, we're doing it, and we're doing it on like... Well, no, there's still things we're talking about that we're gonna do. Yeah, like, but I mean, we're actually doing some of it like some, currently. Like, this won't be the only video work that you'll get to visually see that's gonna be coming as content and as uh, show-wise. Like, there, there's... Um, there, there, there's another show that we're working on yes. in development. That it's in be, development, so we within really the next month it. or so, we're hoping to get everything you know dialed in as to what exactly the content exactly will be, and not necessarily scripted, but at least like outlined. Yeah. And then, because we need a little next, bit of, we need control a little within bit. Within the next month, we'll at least have uh, uh, an episode or two out. Okay. And we'll tell everyone where where that is, what it is, as it's happening. And be able to put that out there. And it's going to involve the community a lot more. And it's going to be in your in your face and in your ears about, you know, different things you're looking for in the community. If you're looking for a painter or, like, someone to, you know, uh, put concrete down in your driveway sure. or something. Sure, As I know far people as local that make, bands. Yeah, and, garage door opener people, you know, or, artists. You know, just people that uh, are bakers people that do you know tasks and stuff for their jobs and everything it's just going to be really community based and it's going to be you know within the area okay and we also know people that do mobile djing mobile media mobile bartending just small business featuring it's going to be it's going to be cool it's can going to i be skip stuff. the day that we're going to listen to people's uh ipod players i, oh, I don't, I don't want to be there for dj days for dj days I only listen to my only. I only listen to my iPod. Sorry, I don't need to listen to yours. I don't care if you did like a. You know, I don't. I don't. Oh, that's right. Okay, you know what? Stop. Sorry. <laughs> Stop the press. I forgot. Corey has a problem with DJs. I don't know what it is, 
but he no, doesn't respect the D and the J. I, just don't he have doesn't. A, I have a problem with having to pay to get into a venue to listen to somebody's iPod. Okay. All right. Okay. That, that's where I have an issue. All right. I, I feel you on that. So, you know, let's let's just get right into it. What, one of the things that you and I have in common, besides other things, is that we're both actively have shows on The Voice of Sacramento. And soon there should be another big announcement coming. 96.5 FM KUBU will not be the only station that you can listen to our fine establishments. Yeah, so we're going to wait on um, announcing we're that. We're not going to say anything yeah. on that yet, but everything has been verbally, contractually agreed upon. So yes. now it's just kind of like, you know, getting all the ducks in a row on paper and like, you know, and one doing more some final promos. meeting. We want to, you know, we have... Um, you know, we have some professional equipment, so we're going to actually use it. You know, with our with our media group, our umbrella's big. Um, professional equipment. I thought we got this stuff out of the Cracker Jack box. Well, we do have, you know, under our umbrella, we have somebody called uh, Lisa Holt Photography. So I'm thinking that maybe we get some headshots done, you know? That'd be nice for all our little ventures. Well, I know Kev keeps wanting to get his press passes done. Right. I know he wants some pictures on the press passes, so... Are what? we... Are we going to be a cartoon? I kind of... Do we know any, like, artists? No! Oh, my God. If you say you're totally okay with getting a cartoon, like, picture, like, in some of the logos now, I'm going to smack you because I said we should do that two months ago. Well, I'm ready for it now. So, I mean, because I think, you know, I wasn't ready then, but I don't remember saying no. I just maybe in that moment, no? I plead the fifth because I'm going to say something okay. and lose my mind. All right. So, so we're just kind of like... We like to have our office meetings live. Other people like to do it private, not us. We hey, like Jack, to... you're not here, so sorry about all the behind-the-scenes talk. Yeah, really. So, oh, speaking of that, you know, with our co thing, you know, I have talks with Shell um, Mond- uh, fr- Mondays, Fridays, um, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on 96.5 KUBU, and you're on Fridays at midnight? Yep. So, technically, Saturday morning, so it's... Okay. And so we're doing some cross promoting for the next few weeks. I'm going to be on your show, and um, I'm looking forward to, um, you know, going and recording um, this week at some point, uh, Friday night, and to um, do your show and talk about um, all the cool things that we're going to be doing. You know, I'm excited about that. And and Jack, I'm looking forward to. Um, I like to tease him a little bit. He's fun. So um, I I, la- I love the fact that we're going to have uh, multiple personalities cross promoting, and I hope that well, it's I hope all one big family. Be on our so show. like, yeah, Jack needs ja- to come up. Jack's going to come up. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's all we're all just really one big family. If like, we could have cameras in all our houses, we could have spiked in reality shows. Wouldn't that be great? Because Kev, no, Kevlar, no, it wouldn't. It didn't would I do something good today that you said it should have been on video? Wasn't that the grocery store last night? What did I do? I don't know. Um, put the toilet seat up. No, we were no. somewhere, and I just it was struggling. We were at something. Winco. Yeah, we were grocery shopping. We're not sponsored by Winco, by the way, but we do like to shop there. But if they want to give us a sponsorship, we will they totally are, take it. They're homegrown, right? So, do you even remember? Did I just throw you out there? Like, I don't even remember what I said, but you said, "Oh, if only we were being." Winco video. is employee owned. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but that still doesn't mean that it's not a corporation of bull crap. Oh uh, no, it's still that. Oh, we can still have a commercial, right? No, yeah. That's not what we're talking about, Sean. I'm just saying, like, just because it's employee-owned doesn't mean that it's still not, like, some big corporate finagler thing that, you know, like, oh, you got to do what the man says, because there's still a man, even if the employees are, quote-unquote, own 1.01% of the company. Yep. So the last time, so, Kevin, you know, you think about what I said was funny, and you can chime in later, but back to this, you know, cross-promotion. We talked about well, it last Why doesn't he week. say what you said now? He doesn't remember, otherwise oh, he would have okay. said it. Like, he's not saying anything, so he can't remember. We have... We he's have, busy running our show, Shell. Well, Give him he, the man some props. He is. He's been doing a lot lately. He really is. Don't you have a, do you have a clapping thing? Don't we have anything pre? Like, he, he's, nothing's labeled. Like, wah, wah. Oh, okay. Crickets. There you go. Perfect. Shell's Perfect. talking. Time to go to bed. <laughs> yep. Um, so I want to tell you guys, you know, we have... Um, this thing called Aftershock coming up, and it's October 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. And Reality Check TV Media, Reality Check TV NorCal, we have presented an opportunity for you guys to win tickets. And so we announced this last week, and the actual show has now been launched. And so what's happening is the contest, I mean. And we're already getting problems. Before I get into it, I'm going to read our little spiel. We already got people saying those fake you're a winner thing. And I went to the websites and it has it, Corey, on every topic. 
it was like, oh, you're a winner at this real estate. You're a winner at this. And it's just like this massive spam. And, um, you know, one of these people that thought they were, you know, they even though it says you're not going to know until October 26th, um, they still thought they won. So that sucks. Sucks for you. You're stupid. Right. So don't click on that. So what I wanted to say is our contest is you have to like a few pages and you have to hashtag a few things and you have to tag a person in it. Okay. And I'm not going to read the whole spiel with you on the, on the little like podcast right now. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to reality check TV NorCal and you're going to go to the original post. It's pinned and you're going to click on it and you're going to like from my memory Distorted Reality Podcast, Talks with Shell, Reality Check TV NorCal, and Aftershock Festivals. That's who you're going to like. You're going to also go to Instagram and you're going to like Shell RCTV, which is the Talks with Shell banner, and you're going to like Distorted Reality Podcast. We don't have a bunch of likes on that Distorted Reality Podcast. Because you're not posting. Well, I know, but it doesn't matter. The point is you're going to like a... A, a page that has nothing no, on that. No, that is the matter because you, you, you like, I need to post on the page. We're going to. You've had two weeks with this page now and you haven't posted. So I got the password a couple weeks ago, even though some of you guys might not have seen the last three podcasts because it's just sitting there up on YouTube and who's going there. By the way, right now, can you like and subscribe Distorted Nation Radio, uh, Reality Check TV, NorCal YouTube? Do you, have a, do you have a YouTube? I'm sorry to throw that out no, there. No, I do not have a YouTube. Sorry, don't like that. Okay, but go to his Facebook but page. But I will create one. No, I don't want a YouTube. You don't I'm just going to use RCTV's You're gonna YouTube. You're going to use our YouTube. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. I'm a, that's where, you know, we're all underneath the well, same Well, what we never really did, so. Corey, is that we never pushed liking hashtags, go subscribe, and we are at, uh, we're at the point where... Oh, you're late to the party. Got it. We're going to catch up because <laughs> we we literally don't have a thousand, and we need to no, have a thousand so we can go live. but you have so like 5,000 friends out there, and it's like, hey, if you're really my friend, go like the page. Are you talking about Reality Check TV? Yeah, I want to be able it, to go live on YouTube. It has 3,100 right now. No, that's Facebook. I'm oh. talking about the YouTube channel so we can go live. That's my goal is to go live on YouTube when we do these kind of things in the future. So so back to the contest. We're going to announce the very first winner on Friday, April 26th. And this is how we're going to do it. You're going to have to listen to Talks with Shell from 8 to 10 a.m. that morning. And then we're going to give you some instructions, right? But we're going to announce it live on Reality Check TV NorCal's Facebook page later on that night, probably around 7 o'clock, okay? And then if you missed it, you'll also hear it on um, on um, Distorted Nation's um, show that's at midnight. We're going to just kind of cross-promote it all the way around. So so that's it. But we have... And then when we announce the other... When we get the other... Uh, avenue open and the floodgates going for that one you can also check in and listen to everything there so yes. there will be multiple chances for you to hear everything if you don't you suck and we hate you and ever i want you to know we have three contests this is the first one the other two you have no idea what you have to do so don't think you already got this under control if you already blew it here we can't help that you'll have another opportunity but we're not going to be doing it boom May. It's going to probably be pushed out around June, July, because we, we're going to do three up until October. The last one will probably be end of September. So um, so that's that. That's my little uptake on that. I'm super excited about um, doing the talks with Shell. And, um, you know, my first time I did it, I, it was pretty good. I know that some of our music, you said, let's just be honest, you, you're proud of me. You're proud of me, Corey. And I know that you love me. And I know that I know you know I have, you know that you know I have potential. You know, some of the songs were kind of slow, right? I was thinking, huh, I'm a wake and bake kind of girl. I'm really chill. And so with our first show, it was kind of patchwork Friday together. Morning, I'm, a work, I'm at work and you're playing the, this song and I'm like, <sighs> Uh, ooh, I'm trying to drive. And, right, uh, right. So I'm going to be a little bit more conscious of that this next time we um, do our show this Friday. Uh, but one of the things we're going to do is that we're going to be having a, a, a Aftershock segment, of course, always right at the top of the hour. Okay, you're always going to get that first. And then the rest of it, it's going to be a multitude of topics. But last week I had my granddaughter, and she did really cool. And the funny thing that you pointed she out. She was 
yes. awesome, and she's articulate with her words. Like, she doesn't sound like... How old is she? She'll be 10 in May. She doesn't sound like she's a 10-year-old. Yeah. She talks like she she's actually, like, at, at least at a high school level. Right, right. Like, but actually, uh, an intelligent kid that pays attention in school. Not like, a you know, one of those stupid right. high school kids, like 90% of them. <laughs> That's um, true. That's true. And it's funny you got to talk to her tonight, but she... Um, the thing that you text me about is I didn't, I didn't plan... I was going to highlight two Slayer songs, but I didn't really know what we were going to talk about. So, But we had already planned, no matter what, we're going to run into oh, Slayer. the fact that you talked about uh, potential shooting because there was a gunman like, around they the did. school they had campus, a lo- school so they had a lockdown. lockdown. Yeah. And then what was the song? Freaking, like, Dead Bodies Everywhere or something? I don't know. It was like... I think it was Slayer South of Heaven. No, it was no, the other no, one. The other one. It was like uh, de- Deadly a- Dangerous. Angel of Death. Angel, Angel of Death. death. Yeah. There, there you go. Like, I know everyone that was drowning pulled dead bodies everywhere, but it was for the it purpose, really cool. okay? Angel of Death, like, oh, yeah, it was so scary. I was a kid in school, and I was locked down, and then, I, Angel of Death! I know, it was great. <laughs> and so, <laughs> that so, was actually not planned, but kind of perfect. Yeah, it was really cool. So like, I'm ex- She's so sweet and innocent, yeah. and then it's less like, you know, I'm going to rip your intestines out of your body now. Well, Adeline's going to have a regular shtick with Talks with Shell, and she's going to be my... Um, you know, just the voice of that that era, you know, so we understand what's going on. And she's going to give us the news of Oregon because, you know, she is, um, she's pretty patriotic. And she's definitely aware. And she's also a soccer player. And and um, so she's seen it all right now. So I'm, I'm proud of her. So moving along with that, I, um, I have a bunch of, I did some, I did working interviews this last week. And I have things lined up with um, different people. One of our local bands is going to be coming, oh gosh, I think it's in May. I, I don't have an exact date, so I, I want to say it's the first week in, weekend in May, like May 6th or something, and that's um, Kill 6. Did I say it right, Kevin? Kill Day 6? Yeah. Okay, Kill Day 6. Okay. These are friends of ours, and it's super cool. And also, um, Killed by a Dolphin, I just went to their birthday party this last weekend, and James has agreed to come here to our house and do an acoustic set. On, live on my radio and I'm super excited about that and of course you know maybe I can you know use some of it for our other stuff but um, maybe we can do some double um, recording that day and I'll have you come up and we can do a video of it as well and and so you guys can see that but it'll be definitely on the radio so and there's other people you know we're gonna do a local you know I don't even I never even like local licks I mean it's just the whole but the, okay, I hope the, you not give a shout out or say anything that like you know for those is it still Yuffie exist? piece of crap. Does it still exist? No, they no. they cut okay, all cool. that. They, they okay. uh Because I was gonna say cut that. Can you like rewind? That, that shitty radio station that plays the same ninety and a half songs all day yeah. every day that should just go kill itself. That Nobody audio dropout that just happened was intentional. <laughs> okay. Um but, you know, so I'm excited to, you know, hear the different kinds of people that are music, but coming up in a couple weeks, um, you didn't agree to it, but I want to do this. Uh, on April 26th, Corey and I are going to be out and about. Okay, we're going to be... 27th. Oh, shit. The 27th? <laughs> That's right. Okay. Saturday April, the 27th. April 26th is when I Friday. jump on an airplane and no, fly actually, to the Dalles, Oregon and see my granddaughter for the first time. You're actually going on the 25th Thursday, which is cool. That's right. Uh, so anyways, you were wrong. <laughs> so back to back to Saturday night. Corey and I are gonna. She needs some. adult supervision while Kev is gone, or else the shell will play. Well, I've already got my whole night planned. Okay, Thursday, um, Kev will that'll be working Thursday, so nothing Thursday night. Friday night, I'll be hanging out with um, Lisa Holt Photography, and we're gonna be having a working meeting uh, up at her treehouse. And then Saturday, I'm. She gonna has be a treehouse. I want to go to a treehouse. You, you can come up. No fun. She yeah. said you can come up next time. You can come up anytime. So you can come up there and you don't have to spend the night. You just come up for dinner and then leave, right? You know, unless you want to sleep outside in the hammock. I don't know. I just want to see. I want to play in the treehouse. Okay. Well, we have Gary Holt's Hobbit House. Oh, he has the wine cellar, which has the um, it has the blood wall. You it totally looks wall? like a Hobbit house too. Yeah. So that's the separate. Anytime I'm thing. in a wine cellar, I think of the Bat Cave. If that's it. That's his. Definitely, that's his cave. And he has a throne too. He has the Slayer chair. See if right I, I if I go there, I might get in trouble because I'll go sit on the throne. No, you you can sit on the throne. But then Saturday night, Corey and I are going to go to a multitude of places. So we're going to play a little game. You know, where's where's Corey and Shell? And you know, and maybe you might win a prize. Maybe you could. We're going to talk about. We're talking about it might here. Might be a T-shirt from. But maybe the you other talk about it more on your show this week. We're partnered with and other things. Oh yeah. Those prizes because we can give out those prizes. We could give out prizes. We could say that. 
t-shirt company, can't we? Yeah, I'm wearing the hat right now. Hellraiser clothing. You yeah. can win a t-shirt. And I'm like, because you know that would mean something's actually going on then. <laughs> Shout outs to Chris and Tiffany and uh, Stevie, Stevie from Hellraiser clothing. And Cheryl. For always having our back. So yeah, so uh, we'll, we're we're going to be giving out prizes starting soon, and uh, we're going to have a little prize bin. And I'm going to start talking to some of my old companies at, you know, uh, A1 Comics. Um, okay. Places that I used to give out prizes for uh, all the time for doing things in the radio biz. Like, you know, because all good radio personalities give out prizes. Well, well <laughs> so what I was, I'm coming up. So I get the aftershock. Okay, Reality Check Media, we get four, six day, um, uh, wait. Six four day passes, okay, and now you're but, giving out as prizes, yes. Yes, but I also wanted to give kind of, some kind of a swag. I mean, there's not a lot of people, so you know, maybe I have to buy ten prizes, right? And because I want some too, um, so we're kind of coming up with a concept of what we're going to give. You know, Kevin, we're going to start stocking a prize bin, okay? Let's yeah. just prize locker. That's what yes. we call it. The prize locker, okay, is going to be stocked soon in the next couple months. So everything that we've been talking about doing the last year is finally happening now. All right. And it's funny. Ca- are we slow? Should we call? It, should we have turtle as our slogan? <laughs> our mascot should be a turtle. What? Turtle, 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 turtle enough turtle. for the turtle soup? <laughs> or no, turtle enough for the turtle club? Yeah. Um, no. So the main thing was is just kind of getting off the ground and everything. Yeah. And, it, and what's funny, and also completely bullshit. Uh, so my so my business my my main company that I that I started yeah, doing let's talk about all that. the um metal recycling and stuff like that literally you know has been taking off and things are going good and it's making more than like pretty good money to where i'm paying my employees i'm paying myself because he and wasn't before <laughs> what were they working for before he's like he's paying them now no i mean I've, they've always been being paid but i'm saying like it's, okay. it's like in a, it's, in a, it's in a point where it's self-sustaining okay and it's like you know at a point where growth is starting to happen and I need to start putting more time into the growth of it growing. But then all of a sudden, boom, the radio show's going off and the, the podcast and everything else. Yeah. And like, oh, the TV stuff? Yeah. Uh, all that stuff going on. And it's like, wait, wait, I need to be focused on this road right here, but now yeah. this road... Oh, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the thing, Kevin, I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I need to focus on this road. Yeah. Now this road's taking off and I'm like trying to just keep up on both and... Well, the good thing is, is that today's been a good day because you were able to work on three projects all in one. You know, one of the things about us being under this umbrella together is that we... I'm res- working on the Hellraiser Marquee. Yeah. Which so, is something that I've done for the last 10 years. Uh, and you're going to let me borrow it on my show, yeah, right? Yeah, so basically okay. I, I sit down and I write down everything that's going on between monster truck rallies to... Uh, concerts to uh, like Disney on Ice type events yep. to uh, pot like pot uh, conventions, horror Four conventions, Comic Cons, yep. uh, concerts, all within the Northern California area, uh, like Bottle Rock, Aftershock, all those things. And I and I basically compile it into a list, and then we talk about you know like at least things that are going on in the next three weeks worth. But the list will compile of everything that's going on. And if I can actually figure out how to get the calendar set up right on our website, it'll be posted on the DistortedNationRadio.com page, too. Yeah. And we're, you know, the thing about us is that we really are a reality show. We are, if you've watched us over the years, you've seen us progress. Minus all the edits. Yeah, go ahead and just scroll down and look at um, episode one, okay? Our graphics have changed. I mean, our background's different. This is new, right? This is one. This was a gift from um, OG Stevie Hellraiser from our, our, our party, uh, actually, two years ago now, you know? But we finally hung it up. So see the, how long it takes us to do that? But we also switch out well, that switch poster. We, we switch it out. And I think, uh, Kev, even though I uh, totally backed you up back then, but uh, I think we're past episode 20. Where she wanted to talk about getting a new background. Oh, right. I do. I don't want this wood anymore. Not to bring it back up. But, but I do. I do want a different one. I'm not but, sure where I want to be. But I feel like if we get the background, I know that we could do green screen and change it up. But you know what? If yeah, but we, then we can never wear green. Right. Right. So, But I'd like to or have... Or if we got a blue screen, we can never wear blue. But let's get a background where it feels like it's bigger. Like so, it like gives so you the appearance of a, a bigger room. We get a green screen for every day except, except St. Patrick's Day, which is the only day any of us ever wear green. I have green in my hat right now. Just saying. Oh, that wouldn't show up, right? 
No, so whatever the picture. So the we're gonna be. we're gonna think about it. What would you guys like to see? You know, this is not that we're gonna listen to anything you have to say, but I yeah, am we don't curious. Care about you. you know, but <laughs> I want to know. You know, what are you interested in? So if you want to see robots, we're gonna put up chickens. Uh, yeah, robot chicken. That's actually a good cartoon, that, that right? A joke. Is that a joke? Yes, oh okay. my god! But you know, just like the opposite. What something else? Like I don't know. Well, should I read what I'm gonna talk about on the radio next week? You know, should I tell you some of the stuff that's coming up on Aftershock? Um, Do you care? I, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell you. Last week, I uh, highlighted Slayer as the, as the headliner, right? She has crayons. She's writing in fucking crayons. Well, well, you know what? Because Corey and I are thinking about doing maybe a wine and paint. or They actually have beer ones, too. It's not just wine. But they have these places where you can go paint, you know, just to have fun. And so crayons are kind of like, you know, therapy for me. So I was, I brought it. Do you have I the wrote, adult coloring book? I don't, but I'd like that as a gift. That would be great. Mother's Day's coming if you want to get me the adult coloring There's book. There's different ones. Like yeah. ones that have curse words and stuff in them. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool if we had our own. That's what I'm encouraging Stevie is for with his art. It would be so cool if we had paint by numbers, Stevie, you know. But you know what, Stevie, I can't I can't pump you up. You gotta pump yourself up. So get it here in the room. I wish you were sitting there in this chair right now. He probably will never hear this episode, so it doesn't really matter, right? No, it's we funny. don't broadcast on BitChute. <laughs> So, so anyways, uh, what I'm going to be highlighting this week on uh, my talk show is the day two of Aftershock, and the hi- the headliner for day two is a Slipknot, and that's all I wanted to say. I, I really like that band, and you know I think they deserve to be a headliner. You really like the band? Name one song. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Don't lie to the yeah, public. Just because I don't, just because I don't know a song or any of the singers. Uh, let me, but I do. I know any that Corey of, Taylor of, is the singer. Any of the singers. Okay, uh, Corey uh, Taylor is the singer, <laughs> but I'm not sure why one of the members' names is Clown. Okay, but then we have because Mick he wears t- a clown mask. Okay, but so his name's Clown. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we have <laughs> Mick Thompson, James Root, Sid Wilson. Uh, Michael Fife. How about between, Fife? between now and when you do your show, you find out a little bit more Okay, you know, this is practice. This is practice. So if you watch my show, I don't know when this will be up. Kevin likes to, you know, is this gonna, episode going to be up this week or maybe three weeks from now? Before you leave on your trip. Mm. Okay. That'll work. No. Before the 25th, you can't get this episode up from the 14th? No, this episode will be up by Wednesday. Okay. All right. All right. Bonus points if you guys see this Thursday morning that you go like our page and then tell us why. That would be great. Because we haven't had a lot of interactive stuff. Well, because you haven't been putting stuff out there to interact with. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Can we talk about how people could call us in the future? Because uh, you were, we were talking about there's all these different ways to text well, or call. 213 uh, 916-9965 is okay. the Distorted Nation number. Okay. But you can also get your own setup. Well, no, I, I want to get my own setup, but I was just saying, didn't you say there's there's a couple different ways you could do yeah, an app? Yeah, yeah but don't, don't give out those things. Like, just, yes, there's places you can get Okay, we're not things. telling you what we're doing. Okay, got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> so, you don't need to pull the curtain all the way back. All maybe the, that's yeah. what Jack's talking about. Maybe that's maybe he does hate me. Maybe. You know what, Jack? You have a point that we we shouldn't be talking about every detail of our life, right? Because what if someone no, steals? No, yeah, we do. Do you think someone's going to gonna steal our, our Hellraiser marquee idea? No. That you've been doing for years, no. all of a sudden somebody's going to start doing it, and then it'll be Someone like. Someone would have to give a damn about everything that goes on in Sacramento. <laughs> that's true, huh? That's a lot of work. They're not. Yeah, doing shit. right. Okay, you're right. I don't know what I was worried about. Okay. Uh, and the places that did give a damn, they got cancel cultured out, like Sacramento News and Review. Okay, so we were talking about them tonight just briefly, only because I thought this one place was that. So. I think we should subscribe to all the free different newspapers and stuff. I don't think they exist anymore. It's just online. It's just like a thing. And yes, the number, I did, I had to look it up, make sure my number was right. Okay, 213-916-9965. You can text that number anytime and, and you, you know, you'll reach the show, uh, anything you want to say or call and leave a voicemail, whatever. Maybe we'll play the voicemail on air. Oh, that would be so cool. You know, Shock Jock Radio right here. That would be so fun. 
Hey, we should test it out if that's a real number or not, too. Maybe we can do that by for the What do you mean it's a, it is a real number? I mean, like, has it worked lately? When's the last time you actually got a message there where it actually I don't know. Works? I haven't put it out in a while because the show is just back okay. up and running. I, somebody please crank call it. That would be great. I wish we were live. So I don't know. He our, our, our director guy was like, we're not supposed to talk about, like, the inside stuff. But he gave me a one finger earlier, and I'm not sure what that meant. I mean, we are going to cut commercials and stuff coming up. It means up. one minute. Okay, well... You know. You now have two seconds. All right. Well, it's been really great, and we're going to be back with some more of Corey telling me what to do. All right. That was a nice little break. We just had dinner. We took a break and had dinner. We're just going to keep it real. And I wanted to start this segment off with um, little food critic Corey. He had an incident. He was afraid of, um, or maybe not afraid. He just had a bad experience with st- uh, Stouffer stuffing. It wasn't, I don't know if it was Stouffer, it was just stuffing in general. Stuffing in general, and um, I've never, I watched tic, I watched an Instagram reel, and they said, hey, put the stuffing in the meatloaf, and I normally don't do that, and I thought, why not, and so, how was it? It was fine. I haven't All thrown right. up yet. All right, we're we'll good. We'll see. We'll see. We still have time, right? Oh, man, so I love having our dinner meetings, and sometimes we have lunch ones. It just depends. Sometimes it's late at night, and we're having dessert. You know, if you followed any of our past podcast with um you know like below and subscribe uh to our other stuff like our uh like our distorted nation radio and our distorted nation i guess it's just the one page huh i always mess that up yeah i was thinking of something else and distorted reality podcast always like this for us and a reality check norcal and talks with shell and 96 oh uh, uh, besides that is there a way for them to, like, once our once we do our promos and commercials and stuff, um, for them to, like, say, oh, wow, that was a great show with Distorted Nation Saturday night, Friday, I mean, Friday night. What are you talking about? I'm lost. So on KUBU website, if they ever wanted to go and say, hey, you know, is there, like, some kind of, like, the feedback thing for, you know, when people are listening to the, when we, you know, our radio is on. No. No. We have to have, they have to go to our own little individual pages yes. and comment and stuff. They don't have like a chat thing for um, writing into the radio. Okay. Well, just. No. I don't know these things. So, no. That's that's dumb. I'll work Someone on would that. have to give a crap at the station to do that. I'm going to work on that. Maybe I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. You go get someone to volunteer and do that. I might do that. I'm going to take over. I'm going to take over that station. That's on my list in oh, 2025. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be getting an award. By the end of 2024, and we'll be recognized in 2025, and maybe there'll be like a ceremony or something. What no. happens? You don't get nothing. You get a you get a certificate. Hey, we got something over there for Access Sacramento from back in the day. What what um year is that, Kevin? Was that your first year? For I don't rookie know. of the year or I'm something? I'm not sure what we got, but he framed it. It was um, Access Sacramento honors Kevin Champ Reality Check TV Channel 18 series producer. June 23rd, 2016. Wow. For what, though? For producing the show for a solid year. Oh. (laughs) Okay, you got a little certificate. I got, mine, um, the one I got was, I mean, I got a couple of them, but the the only one that actually kind of mattered was the one that we went to that TV ceremony for. Were you there? Yeah, this was signed by Gary Martin. I wonder, yeah, I got Gary Martin to sign it, and Shane. And it was signed by T.D. Trice. Well, nice. Shane was the one for the we radio. we happen to love. He's a, he's a great guy. Okay, so Shane. Okay, is Shane still there? No, he died. Oh, sorry, Shane. Rest in peace. I'm sorry I don't know these things, Shane. You know? But anyways. He's the one that you have met before in the past. What's the, Who's the guy that I'm dropping the radio stuff off at? James. He's really nice. He was so chill for me, you know? And James Just. Yeah. he Or he, Justice. I feel confident. Like he's, I said, well, what if I came up till six o'clock? He goes, if I'm not here, then he was gonna like pass it off. To you gotta say, else. he's a lot nicer and a lot cooler than the other dick bag that was there. Okay, good. Well, that's good to know. So you know, it's it's pretty exciting. So what's going on? We both have we we had on our t- you know what's on your tab? What's on your open tab? Um, I have concerts in the park because I am gonna do some research. So I'm gonna call tomorrow and. Um, I just want to know what it costs to have like a little booth there because I would love for the last concert in the park. It gives me enough time to take the time off from work. And I mean, I'm already, you know, I could just, I would take the whole day off because I want to prep for it. I, why do I want a booth? Because I want a whole area for all of us. I want Lisa to be there. I want you, you to You want be a there. booth that has nothing to go in it. 
You don't have anything. We don't have any. We're advertising us in our media. We're okay. We, so we're just gonna sit, stand there with an empty table. Right. <laughs> what? That's what? Well, why I said that's exactly what I what said. Do we mean, don't got no distorted reality frisbees. Well, no we might cozies. This is, this is the end Within of July. Within two months. This Within the, two months. This is the end of July. Yeah, and concerts in the park starts next month in May. Yeah, but this is I was beginning the booth the last Friday, the last one. Like, why oh, are the you very like, last one? That, yeah, Do I mean, like money? I don't appreciate like the fucking like the dis, the you know like like of course I would have stupid stickers, but even fucking I think I'm fucking big enough to say fuck you. I have a booth, and if you want to know why I have a booth, then come to my fucking. We should program. just go to the park and put a booth up outside and say, hey, we just have a booth on the street. No, I just if want the a homeless booth. can have a tent, we can have a booth. No, I want a booth because I want to have all our people there that we are under our umbrella. I mean, we're gonna be there like throughout and I want, time. And I want I want to have it. I want to be able to there. watch the show and I want to be able to talk to people and maybe we could get some clients and they can watch our TV show and it'd be a way for me to advertise Aftershock. And you know, I might even incorporate it into you some kind the of Aftershocks. a, you know. You know, I might even incorporate it into like some kind of, you know, prize or something. Maybe the last um I won't tell you what my la- my contest will be, but maybe it'll have something to do with visiting me at the booth and getting a ticket or something. You know, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to look into it because I think it would be cool. Then I'd have, like, chairs. Remember when we were going to do that one festival? I won't even say what it is because I don't care about her anymore. But um, Oh, we'll... the, f- the festival that I had a booth at for the three years I was there? Yeah. Well, I had a booth too, but you know, like whatever, that fell apart. But you, you mean the one that was mad at us and uh yeah. Anyways, we were going to have couches. Was that like, the first festival of the year? Yeah, something like that, you know. And so, we were going to have couches and like the whole thing. Like, I don't know, you know, if I had the whole day to set up for this booth that I rented, I would have hours before, you know, to set it up, and I think it would be really great. I have all the cool um you know, musician people come and hang out in our booth and that, you know, and come, you know, be cool. Okay. And then I want to interview, I thought even about doing a live podcast there too, where we you did, made it into, incorporated into our show and we interviewed the people that were, you know, the last one. I don't know any of these bands here on the last day, but... Um, I can get this bigger. Doesn't I've never heard of any band on the entire roster. Well, this one says... Uh, I have, and you do know somebody on the roster, Zephyr. What Hello. about... Well, I... Okay, the Brodies, Blame the Blame My the Youth. Brodies, Blame My Youth, Light the Way, Cole Steef, and DJ Laddie Chair. I thought she sounded cool. That's okay. July 26th. It's uh, the last... And I would be getting July tickets. July 12th. Coma Phase is playing, and then June 28th, Zephyr. Everyone remembers Zephyr from Hellraiser. He was practicing in uh, the shop for the longest time, and then now he's on 94-7. Really? Well, um, that's the day after Jesse's birthday, so that would be a cool one, too. So I just i am going to look into it and see how much it costs, and if it's not that much money, if it's only a couple hundred bucks, I'm going to do it. June 7th is Ezra, and June 14th is the Philharmonic. Other than that, yeah, I don't know many. Well, of I know people. Arden Park Roots. Oh yeah, okay, everyone knows Arden Park Roots. Right, there's like they're kind of like a club band at this point. They play. They're, they're, they're yeah, they're the the one of the big fish in our little pond here in Sacramento. Right, right. Just but if you put them in a, like but if you put them in a real big pond, they're gonna be a little fish. I just kind of was hoping that out of all the people that we know, local music, and I get maybe because they're. Are these all these these, not, these people not, not, covers? Not necessarily are all local. No, but I mean, why don't I know like, at least one person? Because I know a lot you of don't pay attention in the scene that no, much. No, I've never seen any of these people at any of the small little venues. Are they play all around town? Uh, like I said, not everyone is from Sacramento. Right, on this so list. that's what I feel like. It should just be it's concerts in the fucking Sacramento park. No, it's just NorCal. It doesn't matter. That's why they had huge signed bands before from time to time play. Doesn't necessarily have to ne- just be Sacramento artists. All right. People come all over the place to see. The whole idea is to draw people to downtown Sacramento is that what it so is? that they will so eat need, in the restaurants. Do I need to calm down and stop and flipping you guys off? <laughs> you're number one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Me too. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and it's done. And so I'll just work out the details of what of what date. I kind of want to do with the last the last one in July because I think that would be a good 
uh, time to do some kind of promo for the last um, promo. Speaking of doing, July, yeah, Mr. Kevlar has a birthday coming up in July. Oh, you know what we're doing this year for his birthday? And you're, you can be part of it if you want. We're going to a local baseball game in downtown Marysville. And he wants to do the whole thing. Like, you know, we'll all sit in there and eat the hot dogs and the peanuts and, you know. I really want to go to an A's game this year. Now that the Oakland A's are going to be the Sacramento A's for three seasons. But that's next year. I know. But I'm just saying, when it happens, I'm excited. So if you want to see him now, you need a bulletproof vest and a Glock 45 <laughs> to go to Oakland to see him. Oh, really? Are they still in Oakland? And, and take a lunch because everywhere you want to eat, shut down and moved. <laughs> I know. You know what? Denny's. Do we want to talk? Out. Do we want to talk about that? Can we just like what? I don't Oakland to, sucks. No, I mean I don't want to get. Look, it's not political anymore. This is literally our reality. Our our the landscape is changing. We were at. Jack in the Box, yeah, no, Carl's Jr. or Jack in the Box. I don't remember which one it was. And what, there were three tents outside? There was only two people working, and the, the we had to line up. That was Jack in the Box. Two, four, six people lined up waiting. It was the waiting. day before the minimum wage thing. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it was because everyone... And we literally waited, I want to say, a solid half an hour to get our food. We were trapped, and so was everyone else, and I just felt like... I felt bad for the lady. She was very nice, and you could tell she was a little bit middle-aged like me, and, you know, clearly a professional, and like, okay, this is my job here now, guys, calm down, but no, no one could go in the restaurant. They shut the whole restaurant down. You can only do drive through and you got to stack them up. Well, a lot of them have done that. Um, there's notices out on all of them that only the drive through will be open pretty right. soon. They're not going to let you go in So at I all. guess my point is, is that... We, so, need to be, we need to think about, you know, how we're spending our money and um, how we're voting. It's not about... Not on prepubescent little bitches that fucking whine when they're working McDonald's and they need more money. Get a better job. It is a stepping stone. You are not supposed to choose a right. life career at McDonald's. McDonald's is for... You get the, paid the, 13 an hour and you hate your life until you decide to get enough of it and then move on and do something better with your life. Until then, I hope you all get fired and robots take over and serve everything and take orders and everything not to mention this if you can name a city in california where you can make twenty dollars an hour and that's a quote unquote living wage i would like to know because i want to buy a house there because there is no city in california where you could make twenty dollars an hour and literally rent an apartment yeah, Think you about need more that. Than that. It's 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 total bullshit. It's gonna it's gonna destroy jobs and when it's it does, ruin our economy even more. When it does, they won't do nothing about it. They'll just oh no, it. they'll just start giving everyone stimuluses, and then you know everyone's gonna be dependent on the government, and then you know obviously the government. I'm not a conspiracy theorist here, but I'm just saying when shit lines up, that's called communism. So what's happening is is that you know taxpayers and American citizens are paying taxes on those stimmies on those stimmies. Those stimmies we got in the last couple of years? Uh, I never had to pay taxes on the stimulus check. Okay, well, have you paid taxes in the last couple of years? So, anyways. There was no little box to say, did you get a stimulus check? And then you have to pay the money on yeah, it. Yeah, we, we had to pay tax, okay? We had to pay one, a couple of the ones that Gavin gave, not the maybe not the oh, federal. Oh, the state ones. The state ones. Those were, okay, so now they're doing, I don't know, they haven't. I haven't heard in California yet, but let's just talk about, oops, New York, okay? With them giving those out. So, and they don't have to pay taxes, but we have to pay taxes on our stimulus checks. If it's Not only that, the money that New York has given out to all these people was people's taxes. Right. Remember, there's no such thing as government funded. It's all funded by the people. Yeah, so, so this is happening, and so what we have to be digital, we can't just be... Vigilant on? We have to be vigilant, vigilant, but we can't just be the type of people that just bitch about the stuff. And yes, we're smart enough to know, okay? Well, well I think we some of us prepare, are, but Corey. the general people are stupid as fuck. So we have to be the voice of Sacramento that way. We have to be the underground no, music. No, the we, voice of reason. That's what you need to be. Not just Sacramento right, I know. everywhere. I know, because, you know, it's like, okay. We have to prepare. And so no more being lazy. We have to be like farmers, getting up early, eating right, taking care of ourselves. And Corey and I have, you know, we've gotten to a point where I think we hit a bottom. And I'm too fat for TV. 
Okay, so you're, um, we both, I, I, you know what's making it hard for me is I have all these flashbacks of photos of me in the last 10 years. Same here. And people will send me photos and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm younger there, thanks. Hey, that was half of me then. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, look at these clothes. Although that- I do have more muscle now, so I don't know. Wow. I just need to, you know, find I have now. muscle, but there's this other thing over here. <laughs> but, the you flappy know, flap? Yeah, the flappy flap. But I'm still trying to embrace my body. But, but Z I'm girl not, hates her flappy flap. I'm not getting, well, she's. I tell her to do a dumbbell. She needs like, to go get rid of the flappy flap. Because it just gets worse, okay? But we're, it's not about body shaming. It's about feeling better. My knees hurt for no reason today. I do have arthritis, but I mean, like, besides maybe the impact of my extra weight on me, I didn't hurt my knee. You know what I mean? So I just wake up. No, you didn't fall on your cock. Six. I know that was a you know that was a couple weeks ago and I'm still dealing with that. I'm actually should be sitting on my cushion right now. And I'm not. <laughs> Darn it! Your you butt my... cushion, your donut, oh, your man. butt donut. Oh, and I have a new chair, you guys. I feel. I said this to my coworkers. I have to share this. The other day I was at work and I was feeling really grateful. You know, I was like, oh my god, I have the best chair at home. And I said, you know what, guys? And no one asked for my information, by the way. They're all working just in their own world, and I'm the one that's just like have to brag. I just yes, I out of nowhere I just Tourette's. You know, I just love my new chair, and I'm like, I don't go on vacation and I don't get new clothes, but I have the best chair and I have a sit stand desk and a really good cushion, and no one was. <laughs> Thanks to your husband. And, well, you know, he put my chair together and it's not his fault. It is a little rickety. A I also little. bought it. Well, we bought it. And the sit stand desk, so. You did. Yeah. You did buy that you first. Asked you asked for it. All together. You asked for it, you got it. So. Toyota? Because we know if you bought it, you would just. We are not box. sponsored by Toyota. <laughs> what? He said, you asked for it, you got it. Isn't that a slogan? Speaking of slogans, I need a slogan catchphrase for Talks with Shell. I need something catchy. When talk I do, you talk. Don't talk back. I need something for my jingle because I have to create a commercial. So anybody out there watching Distorted Reality Podcast, if you guys give us she a She had to feedback, slow down and think about that, folks. Well, because I don't, I've been saying nation lately. That's why. So I'm just like, <clears throat> there's a lot of lot going on. Maybe if There's I a lot of distortion distorted. and there's a lot of realities. DRP. Can I say DRP? Yes. Okay, I have to get used to that. DRP. Derp. 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 DRP. Yeah. So, you know, there's just, I'm just excited about that. So, when I'm I'm trying to share more joy and feel more happy. Share the positive. Because even though you're it's bragging a shit and making other show. people like, our feel life, worse. Our life and our world is a shit show, but I'm grateful that um, I made certain sacrifices and Kevin's made certain sacrifices over the last 15 years to wear so we don't have a paid off anything but at least we have something right that we can work toward and i feel like we've accomplished a lot during i don't even want to talk about the pandemic anymore because it was like so long ago but because of that it was only three years ago but okay but it it, it's life is Tried to go back to something semi-normal, but ever since it's 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 completely we shifted the matrix shifted and now we're in this other chink Right? And was it supposed to be that way, or are we living I think in an someone, alternative? All, all these uh, multiverse movies and shit, I think someone fucked up a timeline somewhere, and now we're in a variant of right. what the reality we were on has shifted. I feel now, like that's true. I feel who like went that's back true. and saved John Connor? Huh? Well, or Sarah Connor, I should say. Right, Sarah Connor. and then She should have died. So she would have died. He should have died. They both should have died. Well, I Depending didn't, on what movie. I didn't see the most recent one, so that's, you know... So I've been sending you, not to shift gears here, but, you know, I've been sending you a lot of different little reels and stuff, and there's some topics. What happened with the guy that flooded the yard because he didn't want his wife to come home to see his, uh, because he wanted to continue the party? I thought you wanted to talk about that on my show. I didn't even freaking read it yet. I was just showing you. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to you about that in a a couple days. In a few days, we'll talk about it on Distorted Nation. Right, you'll tune in for that, okay? Shit. But, you know, stuff like that is very interesting to me. Has there been any, oh... How about the murder at um, Arden Mall? Oh, the, I, well, no, no. He killed two people, and then they chased him to the mall, and then he shot himself in the sh- uh, in the chest with a shotgun. Did we talk about this a couple days ago on your show? No. I felt like we did. I talked no. about it somewhere. Well, if no. I was online or your 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 <laughs> with myself Facebook that like view or something. And shooting yourself with a shotgun takes a lot of effort. I I was thinking so how I gotta do you do say, that. I gotta say I'm proud of him. Or at least helping us out with him not having to go to jail 
and get away with shit or like having to defend everything and go he through trial. He killed two women in an apartment complex. At least I'm he not killed sure himself. Where. And I got to give him praise that at least he took a shotgun and did the effort to like you know shoot himself in the chest with a shotgun. Personally, you should have put your mouth around the barrel and then done it. I'm just saying. Would have been cooler. Maybe left like an ink block on of blood on the ground. So maybe like Warshak test, you know? Yeah, I just pulled it up. So I just, because I wanted to see, you know, the double. So he was a suspect. They always have to say suspect. They know he, ha- that he did it. But anyways, a double homicide. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know. But I don't see a body. Is he in there somewhere? No, there's just a picture of the... Yeah, that he we, was don't in or whatever. See, we don't get to see anything. Speaking of double murders, O.J. Simpson died a couple days ago, and I need to address this. I sent you. Um, the, There's the, so many memes. The, the it's Instagram awesome. um, guy, and I wanted to talk oh, about. By the way, I ordered the book because I found one? I found uh, a eBay seller in Canada that was selling the book, so I bought one. If I did it, his book that he wrote about how if he did do the murders, how he would have done it. Okay. One of the memes that I did see that was memorable was um, it said, I'm not going to make any OJ memes today, but I might take a stab at it tomorrow. Oh. Brutal. Here it is. Who's, this is who I want to talk about. Kato Kato. Okay. He he has a... T- he has some hey, I met a, that fool at... Uh, this is what uh, he looks like right now. Yeah, he, he, he does like a lot... He did a lot of crap on like E! Entertainment or some crap after that. Like, yeah. He was at... Uh, Didn't he, wasn't he in celebrity boxing, too? We, I don't know which, about that, <laughs> but he, he's not a celebrity, so I don't know. He, he, he's a murderer's best friend. Uh, yeah. But uh, It no, was celebrity was, death match. Yes, it was. It was. He was in that. Oh, that, that was a... Car- that's, like, animated, though. Yeah. Well, I, actually, I'd like to pull it. That would be a great segment sometime. Kevin, you should research that because, you know, that's funny, you know. But anyways, Cato came and he came up, and I thought maybe he'd say something personal, but really what he said was he just wanted to address... That he felt sorry for, you know, all the people involved, like, you know, the parents of, you know, um, what's her name? The lady that got killed. <laughs> Nicole. This is Mrs. Simpson? <laughs> that was an easy route to go. Oh, my God. Nicole. I'm sorry. I'm Nicole. not trying to just... Dis- not, not trying and to And then disrespect. what was the boyfriend's name or alleged boyfriend? Or, I don't know his name guy? either. No, Ron was gay. Oh, Ron Goldman. Ron, Ron Goldman. Ron that's Go- what it was. He was gay as far as I remember. Uh, that was her know. friend. All I know is, uh, I, I, we really need to get, like, a, a, a tablecloth, like, that attaches to the bottom of the table, because you can totally see my feet and my footage is right now, so I'm, like, taking off my shoes. We to... did have a table, and I didn't know that you could see, because wasn't the camera different? He moved it. It's fine. I'm, I'm cool but with I it have, like that. This we need is to my, put, like, this is my dirty stop looking slipper, at feet. but I was going like this. Okay. Um, anyway, so, yeah, no, uh, they're finally reunited. Okay. You yes. Know, Nicole but... and OJ. No, they're men. not, because one's in heaven and one's in hell. Are you not believe that? Uh, let's not go into what I believe or don't believe. Okay, so you do you think they're reunited? I don't think so. I think they're in reunited separate rooms. I don't think you get to so hang good. out with your murderer and the afterlife, <laughs> but I don't know. What if she's the one that gets to shove a pineapple up his butt? Maybe. Maybe she gets to torment him or something. That That's possible. But, you know, it's been kind of like all over the you know internet, all the different things with OJ. Oh, pandemic. That, Pandemic Con or whatever it was called. Cato was like the the announcer house dude that just popped in my head. I was oh, really? To earlier. Yeah, he was like there? the celebrity announcer for the cosplay contests and everything. And that's where I got to meet him. And I talked to him for like a good 30 minutes. And it was just like, the whole time I'm just like, I just wanted to say, Really? You totally covered for your bro. And you totally knew. And oh. yeah, you're just a dirtbag. Well, I mean, he think about it. he lived in there. What was he doing in the in the little guest house? You know, just mooching off his rich friend. I mean, I'm older than you. Where were you when that happened? I was actually. <laughs> I was like five, and I was like in my living room. I, I remember seeing it on the TV. Mm-hmm. Like, were you five? When did no. that? When, when, when did well, the let's chase see. happen? Okay, so I was um, I was pregnant with Jesse, and so I was twenty. It was 1995, I think. Okay, then I was ten. Okay. So it was 1995, and I was pregnant with Jesse, and I was at my mom's house in Vacaville. My mother was No, it was 94. Obs- okay, yeah, 94, because he was born in 95. So it, my mom was obsessed with the OJ trial. She watched it every day. June 12th, 1994. Mm-hmm. So I was nine. Nine years old. So do you remember seeing the car chase on TV? Yes, I just said that. I can okay. tell you where I was. I, I remember this. I remember the, uh, it was it was in the living room. My parent, my 
my mom and I were living in Fair Oaks, and okay. I remember the tube giant TV that we had and watching it on there. And I'm like, why are we watching this? This doesn't seem like a very fun. Yeah, like we're just watching this like, white car race Bronco. or something. And then they were explaining that oh, the dude murdered people and he's running from the cops. Yep, and it was OJ. And then they he got to go in his house and just all the things he got to go take a shower and stuff. You know, it was fine. You know, he got to if like the hide all. Don't fit. You must, must have quit. quit. I'll never forget. But yet, him just but, pulling it. And you know? it's like you're watching it when he's when in the Cuba Gooding Jr. movie, the People versus OJ, or whatever. And it's like the gloves just like needs to be unwrapped, like to go and then pull it straight on, like it it's fit fine. just fine. It, like, also, it was leather and it was raining, right? So and it that's shrunk, where it and shrunk. then he's like, it doesn't fit, right? And it wasn't found in his backyard, right, like, by Cato's room, right? It wasn't there, like stuck some. But the other guy was a racist. They did have him on audio saying some stuff, and it was only guys. You got to remember, it was only two months after the Rodney Ew. King beating. Who was racist? David Schwimmer? The the cops no, that I'm were kidding. involved. Okay, the cops were involved. So you were nine uh, years Mr. old. Mr. Kardashian? Yeah, so no. You were young, right? But two months before, that's when the Rodney King beating happened in L.A. So that's where it was kind of like, okay. But fast forwarding to now, I just saw an interview of three people that were on the jury. And um, they said that 90% of the jury pool believed he was guilty, but they just kind of went with it anyways. They admitted it. And one of the ladies said, yeah, I knew. I just, I, I, I just said he wasn't. I seen that. I seen that. You saw too. that, and it was Johnny Cochran. That yeah. was the the main. I don't think here. Johnny Cochran is he still alive? I know. No, Shapiro's he's dead. dead. They're both dead now. Okay, they're both no. OJ. Okay, Rodney King was in 1991. So that was three years before that. Okay, three years, not three months. Okay, I had a couple. You know, margaritas. Yeah. <laughs> we should. Okay, speaking of that. Oh, you know what? Speaking of drinking. Uh, I got my wine and my hot tea. We should get drunk one day and do a, a show while we're drunk. No, I want to do. Beer pong. I want to go. Um, maybe Ain't Saturday night. night when we go out to our little fun date all over town. Can we hit? If it's not raining out, can we hit that that um, bike bicycle drink thing where you go through town? I've never done you that. You don't get to drink on the bike. What? Yeah, you just ride the bike to the next bar. No, I'm good. Yeah. I don't Stupid. think Sacramento ever passed it to where you can actually drink on the damn really? bike. Really? I thought that was the whole thing. No, place. you drink at each bar, you hop on the bike, and then oh. you got to burn the calories off to get to the next bar by pedaling, and then you get to drink at that bar. But as far as I know, uh, last time I checked, you could not drink on the actual bar but on the bike. That, you can get a drunk driving on a bike. So how would that work? No, because you're only pedaling. There's actually a driver that's steering that. Yeah, so they're, they're supposed to be sober. They're, so. They work for the company. They're the ones that's sober and steering. Technically, they're the ones driving. You're just helped create the power to go. Like hey, the this guy right here is 70 years old. Fuck him. <laughs> okay. Schwarzenegger wannabe. I know. He's like all buffed. Because right, that's totally awesome for the listeners. I can see what you're looking okay, at. Okay, all I'm saying is that... It's he's probably has a filter on or something, you know, and you know, hard switch to you know outward appearances. I'm really appreciating the fact that there's a lot of people that are online, you know, influencers or whatever they're calling themselves. You know, they're trying to be. I'm seeing more people that are just showing their real bodies and not trying to hide and and it's like we're just regular people. I think that's why we're getting so. You see, like actors now that. I didn't realize till many years ago I, I found this out where you got a movie that comes out in 2024. They probably filmed it maybe in 2022, right? At least a couple years before, right? And sometimes it's even several more years if it gets put on hold. And so you see these actors in these frozen pieces of time and then you don't see them for a little while and all of a sudden you see them you're like, holy shit, you look like hell. And really they're just regular people aging, you know? Or you've had so much work done you're unrecognizable. So we have to be conscious of that. You know who's not aging? Who? Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend. Right, I, I know. <laughs> he just gets a new one at the he same just, age. He's saying, <laughs> you know, at some point he's going to have to get to them being in their 30s. You know, like, because he, he... No, no, he's not. No, he's got his 27 or... Yeah, he's like, old. happy anniversary, uh, time to break up now. Right. You're so, aging out, sorry. Well, they probably know <laughs> that, too. They're probably like... They've well, been. enjoy the four years you got if she's 23, okay? You know? Oh, my God, Leonardo. Eventually, he's going to lose. Every, they're all dying of dementia. You notice that? Uh, we're not going to go into that conspiracy stuff. Okay, but, but it's Hollywood, I want to talk, talk about that, okay? Because they're the all shots. they're all kind of like, you know. And we're not going to do Ozempic. Did Bruce, did Bruce Willis die yet? Like, no. I, I don't know. They, there was one 
one of the scam things, I think, on, oh, Bruce Willis passed away or something. No, that's all fake. He's still alive. And then his daughter alive. has something going on now, too, I think, medically. She's autistic or something. Isn't everyone autistic now? I probably am. Yeah. My kids said I'm on the spectrum. I don't know about autistic, spectrum. but I know I'm partially retarded. Do you think I'm ADHD? Fuck yes! <laughs> God damn! I don't have to think. I know. I'll you bet. have to ask. I'll bet money on that one. Where, what, what is horse there a blood is test? It? Is that or is that just a little? You have to like what, look what, at the. Hey Kev, what's a brain test? Kev, what horse number is that? Because I like to put all my money on that horse, please. I just wanted to have another segue since you know Corey's not bringing up new topics. I'm reading books lately, okay? And this book I'm reading right now is called The Introvert's Way. And I used to think I was an extrovert, but it turns out I actually am an introvert. No, I think you're both vert. Well, the way you have to ever always look at yourself and have everyone see you on your posts and everything. I mean, okay, that's that's being an exhibitionist. That's completely separate. Okay, I'm an exhibitionist. I thought those were the ones that were naked all the time. I, I, if I could be naked all the time, I would. I would have a naked channel. Okay, and I would. I that would be a fans only page. Listen, I would do fans only if I didn't have three sons. I would make so much money. I would show you what you want. You want to see my baby toe? I will show you my baby toe, okay? Dipped in Kool-Aid, okay? Whatever you want, right? Drink it. So, but... Hey, hey, no one drank the Kool-Aid during the <laughs> eclipse. We're all here alive. He will so drink we're my, good. You'll drink my toe, my toe. I was going to say jam, but yeah. Speaking of retards, jam. did you hear about the latest Google search? Oh, on retards? Let's do it. No, not on oh. retards. <laughs> Sorry. No, that the number one Google search right after the eclipse was, why do my eyes hurt? Because you're dumb, and you were looking at the eclipse without the protective lens glasses. You know, Trump did that, and I don't know why he did that, you know, but it's just, it's That's crazy. That's because he's part sun. That's why he's so orange. He was, no, he was just like, he was mocking it, like, you know, oh, you, you're kidding. He's probably right? squinting and not even really looking at it. Maybe he had, like, something on him. And we were, he had maybe, contacts or something. Yeah, he had some kind of laser contacts, but... So yeah, so that's that's that. But Z know? Girl and I, we, we all looked at the eclipse, but I bought the glasses beforehand, like three weeks before. I was in I my house them. working and never looked looked outside. Well, I mean, you only saw like the circle, and it was only like the bottom half of the sun was covered because we weren't in Texas. Because I heard know. it was weak. It was like a disappointment. No, it was pretty cool. Like if you were in Texas. What about the chick that killed her kids? Threw them a threw them out of a. A moving car or something bullshit because uh, oh killed her boyfriend too because was that during the eclipse yeah because she was a uh, it was tr in L A she was an influencer and she was a um, you can look it up she was an influencer who uh, believed in um, what's the you know the uh, you know Illuminati astrology okay no, so astrology. she was an astrology influencer that believed that everything was going to end on the eclipse and she killed her two children oh right there influencer family killed yeah let's look eclipse. that up you know and i don't understand like what happened lady and she was beautiful obviously Astrology she wasn't influencer well. disturbed by <laughs> eclipse killed partner infant child and herself say police yeah 34 year old woman who worked look at her ah uh, yeah i can tell she has issues uh, astrology influencer killed her partner, eight month old baby. And I thought herself. there was two kids. It was okay. All eight I have old. to say is, I'm just glad that these people, if they're killing people or whatever, I'm just glad they end up killing themselves. It saves us a lot of time. You know, it, it's just yeah. If you're gonna murder somebody, please do us a favor and kill yourself. Yeah, afterwards. and you know, and kill yourself all the way. Okay, I don't want to have to pay for you to stay alive oh, in I made jail. That post and I, I would know. actually prefer that they just kill themselves before murdering somebody. Well, that, that would be bad. We're not that lucky. All right, uh, but I do have to say, I did have some people write me and say that my comments were un, like, un, uh, un, and sympathetic, un nice. Because I said, uh, make sure not to drink anybody's Kool Aid, and you know, if you're if this is your time to ascend, please ascend from a building that's high enough to do the job, okay? And then also right? please designate someone down below to, to make sure clean no you one's up? no, just to make sure no one's gonna walk by at the time you're jumping off the building to kill yourself. Oh, and because, save you. So that way, no, that way they don't land on them and kill someone else too mm. in the process. So there was some some dumb shit, you know, over the eclipse, but the dumbest. What is that it? That I seen was Sunny from The View. Oh, yeah. Saying that the eclipse is further proof of climate change. Hmm. What about the other 10,000 eclipses that have happened in the 
world Correct. Is and that just proves that Sunny is not so bright. Yeah, <laughs> you're funny. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of... Yes? No, I was just going to ask you, because I changed the thing as clips, but let's talk about introverts. What? What? How okay. are you an introvert? Okay, so... You're an any instead of an Audi now. Got no, it. you know, when I was started to read and I was relating to it, it was like, okay, so I'm excited about doing things, you know. I know how to throw a good party. What I know kind of things? Anything. You know, going to a party, throwing events, uh, whether it was big or small, you know, whether it was a work event, professional, making money, or just for pleasure. I'm excited about going the idea of it and then as it gets closer to it then i you start to bail getting, out i start you, getting anxiety just basically come just no, bail out and bitch out i could i could do that but when i do witness, show up witness right, witness 95 percent of everything ever planned with this bitch is canceled so but when i do show up i work the crowd and i get anxiety and i'm like what the <clears> deal is and then i, I get like tired you've ever showed up and i can't wait to go home you know, and so I'm not all the way through this book, but it's just like I'm trying to learn. It's called Living a Quiet Life in a Noisy World. And I feel like the noise is so loud in my head. And I just, I need to have some other... That's all the voices. You know, the some other... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep track of them. And I'm trying to... Um, I'm back to documenting again. I'm back to journaling. I was journaling last night, and it felt good. If two of your voices are arguing, do you write down the argument so we can read it? No. Why not? That, that's what we want. Oh, you want? Well, I'll, I'll just. I'll I want. Just, I'll, I'll, what, what, what is it? Uh, um, uh, uh, I'll film Amber? it. No. What was one of the names? Fucking. What oh. Amber? No, what, I don't Crystal. Know. Crystal. And what was the other one? It was another. I don't know. I've heard seven names. I don't know. I'll have to look up my list. I'm Go back to episode about. three. She mentions a couple of them there. Okay. And like, I just want to know, like Crystal and whatever insert whatever name here, if they ever like had an argument. No. No, Shelly needs to wear this dress. No, 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 this is this dress. No, 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 Th these no, shoes. No, it's, it's usually not. It's right. Molly. It's Molly. Molly. Ah. <laughs> Crystal Manic and Molly. Molly. Yeah, Crystal and Molly. And I didn't know that those were drug-related names when those names came out. That was pre, pre, you know how, you know you associate a name Molly's with Molly's only been around for the last decade, so yeah, I mean, like, it's a newer one. It really is. It really is. So what, what's going on with your, you know. Does your, that mean you're going to have a new per personality called Finny? No. Or Fenton? <laughs> Oh, for fentanyl? No, no, because that one's an instant death one. That's not one that you can just trend with and have a good time, right? You got, you're like pretty much you play one time, you know, and it's quick. No, not if she's dating a guy named Nar. Oh, you gotta, have, you gotta have Nar, Nar right there with you. So, hey, so you know, let's update what's going on. So you got your, you got your one show, but you also have a special project at your home. You've been cleaning out your studio and making. You know, I'm so building you can, a new studio. So yes. you can have some in-house stuff when you want to do your promos or stuff. You can, yeah, you so know, I can work on stuff. You and don't have to go to the bathroom. Bat cave. Still working on, yeah. So, yeah. But the bathroom's coming along though. The colors. Yeah, are I, good. Just a, I, need, I just need to finish the touch-up edges but i've been you know working like you're working stop and i'm here all day so i don't have time to do it on my two nope. days off no you don't you know you're you're plugging along we might do another maybe when kev gets back we'll do another do you need him again i, yeah. I need well there is there is some a little bit of touch-up no no i don't he need said he wants to help you with the wall. studio he wants to help you like oh, do a dump part, run yeah. or something or just what like studio his studio his one no. in the garage oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, and we have equipment for you too. But we're gonna be um, we're gonna be asking for some stuff real soon here, you know. So I think that we need to make sure we have it. What's our dream? You know, maybe the um, Pro Tools. I can get sponsored or something. Can I get a Pro no. Tools sponsorship? Good no. luck. Well, I mean, how do you do that? You got to just ask for it, right? You, you, oh, you win an Academy Award or and who, and who something wanna, like that. Who do you want to meet for your birthday? Oh yeah, that's right. My my, my I campaign, tagged you in I tagged you in some campaign, stuff. Bill Murray. Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. We have the same birthday, September twenty first. I want to meet you. Uh, every time I'm on air, I'm so I'm doing a shout out. Hopefully, somehow, some way, someone shares or sees something. But uh, my lifelong dream before I die. No offense, dude. Especially before you die, because you're kind of older. Where's Bill uh, Murray going to be playing hash, this year? He, he's, not a, he's not a musician. He doesn't play. He actually says speaking engagements. Okay? Oh, he does? He was, yes, he was just somewhere. I just saw him trending. Uh, so he has, yes, he does golfing, too. You could go yeah, to one of his golf tournaments. Well, yeah, and if you ever watch Space Jam, he loves golf and basketball. Anyways, uh, well, I just hope that, uh, you know, someday I get to meet you, you know, and... and, and have an ice cream. I know you, you showed up at the Ghostbusters ice cream night and everything. Or do something, you know, just I just want to meet you for my birthday. 
That would be awesome. Did you see Ghostbusters? We talked about yes, that last time. Yes, I um, still haven't seen. Well, no, I, I talked about it on a sword of nation. Yes, I saw Ghostbusters, um, Frozen Empire, and it was phenomenal. And critics can go suck it because these movies are he made was for born fans. Born in nineteen fifty. Mm-hmm, September twenty first. Yeah. And uh, no, yes. Uh, everyone, I hate critics and everything because these movies aren't made for critics or like to become big blockbuster like events and everything. They're specifically made for the fans. Okay, that's what the Ghostbusters movies are. They're made for kids and fans and family and you know that that's where it's like trending through the the nerd world. Everyone who's a fan of them is, is loving the movies. Kind of like if you're a K- Kevin Smith fan and, and you love James Allen Bob stuff. You know, he still makes a bunch of movies, but none of them are anywhere near, like, $100 billion in the box office, you know? I love you too, Kevin Smith. Just he saying. doesn't have anything. It says, Bill Mary meet and greet VIP packages, no events found. But he did have something in 2023. He just doesn't have anything right currently. Now. But, um... Okay. Well, that's good to so know. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll so, we have a few months before September 21st, and, uh, you know, I just hope something can happen there. And, uh, yeah. As of that, um... Well, that's good. Then I'm glad we addressed that. Check that. Well, on Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes, Frozen Empire got an 83 percent, which is good from the fans. Yeah, and the Tomato Meter was a 43 percent. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, as far as like all the the critics and you know, like people out there, you know, they're hating on it. But yet, if you look at the fan love, it, it's huge. Because it's continuing the story of the original four guys. Well, five, six, if you include Janine. Because there even talks now that that uh, Rick Moranis might finally come back and make a screen appearance he, really? in the next one. If there is another one, which Dan Aykroyd said is if the fans want them, we'll keep making them. So, hopefully that happens. Everyone wants to see Rick Moranis come back. Because they also talked about another... Which one was he... Lewis Tully. Okay. He uh, was honey, tax- I Shrunk the Kid? Yeah, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid guy. So okay. he, uh, there, there's rumors that there's going to be another Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie and that he might make a small cameo in that one. Because, you know, he all he retired from acting when his wife passed, or when she got sick before she passed away, and he was just raising his kids and just became okay. a normal dude. All right. And he hasn't had any one. He went back needed. off the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, and so everyone's like, oh, he needs to be in the movies. Why isn't he in the movies? Why mm-hmm. isn't he doing a cameo? Because he gave it up. He, he retired. He yeah. lost his wife. And, yeah, and he also has a family. And you know what? The, there's more to than just Hollywood, right? So good for him. You know. So, I mean, if he does come back, cool. It would be cool to see everyone on the screen all together again. Um, but if not, you know. Because it's a lot. And he's not, if he commits to coming back, even, even a small part. at least do a part. nod to him. Be like, oh, yeah, Lewis is out, you know, doing our taxes or something. You know? Right. Like, just do some type of cool nod to him. Yeah. That would so. work. That would work. But, uh, yeah, as far as that goes, I don't know what else. I'm good. Good, I'm glad. And so we're, we were talking about the different things, you know, with all these different um, hats and venues we're having in our toolbox, the giveaways, um, you know, you give your backpack stuff, and I know you start doing that for the summer for Mother's Day. And um, I don't know. Well, we should have started it already. Well, doesn't mean we can't give something maybe back to school or something. We can start. We want to give something to. And well, why does it have to be fra- a huge campaign? Why we can't we just do, the do it? We are going to do the fragile toy drive again this year. Okay, for Christmas. So, so for we can Christmas, start talking about that. That's going to be okay. happening. So I want you guys involved in that one. Okay. Um, I, I do plan on doing another soiree uh, if. The maidens of metal are involved. I don't know yet or not. I don't even we'll know they're see. a thing anymore. I think that there's either you know. way or the sirens, whatever faction yeah. they broke off to and who's right, doing what. Right. Um, but you know, much love to them because they all helped out with my toy drive before. Yeah. They were a big part of it. They're a phenomenal um, group. They were a part of the seventh year. So this last year we didn't do it because I've been dealing with stuff with my grandmother and cancer and all that. Yep. So this year would be the eighth year we do it. The annual, well, semi annual because tried to be annual, but I can't always do it. COVID got in the way, and then family got in the way. Well, what about, like, you know, have you ever done any of the walkathons? Because, you know, we went to this church on Saturday night, last night, and um, we, you know, I signed up you for... You walked with Jesus. No, I, no, it's really, it's for actually for <coughs> women's health, okay? It's like an anti-abortion clinic, you know, where you can go get all your free women's health, you know, and, and it help that way without, you know, going to Planned Parenthood. And so they're trying to raise money. And so I got to raise $250 and the walk is in Mother's Day weekend. So it's on May 13th on Saturday. 
and I'm going to sign up and do the deal, and I'm sure I can um, earn two hundred fifty dollars, you know, worth of pledges to see how many, you know, it's at this one park or something. So I'll be walking, and um, I'll be giving you guys information about that because I'm going to blow that out on my different things because I'd hope a couple people will sponsor me, but I'll 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 pitch in the rest of it because it's a good cause, and then you know I get the T-shirt. So it's a two hundred fifty dollars T-shirt. That, but it that's does. all you want is a two hundred fifty dollars T-shirt. Uh, it's not true. I went out. You know, you know, you know some people that have a T-shirt company that you could easily just like what take a picture of their design you know that you get on their shirt and I, just I have mean, them make the shirt I, for you. You for know cheaper. what? I, yes. <laughs> I do that's what I always tell Z girl. I'm like, just find the graphic for the design of the band touring, okay? okay. And then we'll just print it out on a T-shirt for ten. Dollars as opposed to forty seven dollars for a damn T shirt at a concert. Speaking of Z Girl, so what's you you have any tickets that are planned? I mean, you got anything that you're pending? Uh, we're going to go see Asking Alexandria at uh, Ace okay. of Spades okay. on the twentieth of May. Okay. Okay. Which then the very next day I'll be taking my annual trip out to Bodega Bay. Right for your mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was going to actually go out for the whole weekend, but then. The concert ended up being that Sunday night, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just go to the concert and then go out of town. All right, then you just go overnight and one night and go home. You don't need to go two days. No, right? I just go, I'll just go out of town for the day and then come back. Okay. So, um, well, you know, there's, there's going to be, like, some festivals coming up, so I think I'm going to... Um, you, you said you wanted me to apply to one of the Comic-Cons, which I will do, but oh, I want to... Uh, Sinister Creature Con. Yeah, so I'm going to try... You're going to send me That's the links the on that. the horror movie basic... Comic Con okay. deal, and they announced that Alex Winter from Bill and Ted. Okay. Bill, okay, I know, recognize that. But do I come in a costume? You don't have to. But are if you, you going want to? to? Are you going to no. cosplay? No, I never cosplay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to cosplay as a radio host taking photos of the event. Okay, Kevin, will you cosplay if we do this? Maybe. What would you be, Professor? I mean, something? I have. Who's that Spider-Man, guy? Spider-Man, no. I have Venom, I No, have... those aren't good enough. Come no, no, on. this is horror movies. Yeah, and plus, this is the, those are cheese. They're old. You, you'd have to step movies. it up brand new. So, or, oh, horror movies. Who would I want to be? Like, yeah. Michael... I'd say Jason I would, Bateman. I would, no, I would probably go with... Um, that's not a horror movie. That's actually, Jason uh, Bateman was psycho. Yeah. He just he walk was, around with a knife. Yeah. Just make sure it's a fake one or it's, they're going to let you in. What does he look like, though? You know, he could be... He'd be like a mad scientist or what something. What about the guy that quit his job at the post office, right? And, um, you know, he... he you was, mean the Michael Douglas? Yes. Falling down? Falling down. You could be him. I don't know if I've ever saw that movie. Oh, oh, Corey, you need to. It's Fall, really, it's called Falling Down. Yeah, with I like Douglas. in the first Adams Family movie. You need to watch the, the it. The kids it's all such go trick thriller. or treating, and um, I believe it was Christina Ricci who played Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And they said, well, Christina what, Ricci, they, yeah, I love it? you. They said, yeah, what, is, what, you. what is your uh, costume? And she said, um, I'm a psycho killer. I look like everybody else. You're funny. <laughs> I don't know what I would be, but you know, so I will just play the. Um, straight person going in there being the professional with the clipboard so that's something we're going to do but i want to go to the 420 festival so i better get on that because that's uh next week i guess wait what's what the about date? the uh the guy who's the clown from um rob zombies uh house of a thousand corpses uh um um crap i just totally oh i could be something from america horror story would that be good enough or you could do um you could be lady you Gaga. could do rob zombie's wife in that same movie Captain Spaulding. That's who I'd want to be. You want to be Captain Spaulding? Him? Yeah. Kevin, that's a lot of white makeup. <laughs> that's that's. I don't know. I'm already white. You, I know, you got a you got a problem with white makeup? I just Kevin, that's racist. You cannot be white face. You know, it's it's too much blue, and I don't know. It just seems like it's hot. I'm Irish. We glow in the daytime. <laughs> so yuck. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that, and I want to do that. So. Um, but the 420 festival, um, I want to go. So I don't want to go by myself, but I guess I will. Uh, uh, I should go with Z Girl and we just go get we go get happy. Well, you get you. Uh, I know some other people that would want to go with you. 420. Who? Somebody fun. Uh, Michael, go. the other kid that works with me. He's a kid. So is Z Girl. Yeah, but they're she, both 19. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go with kids. They need to be 21. Let me see. When is 14? Yeah, they can't that go. That is this Saturday. Okay, I need to get on it. No, I need to go with some adults. I don't want to bring in no children. I need somebody to be like 21. 
So I'll have to figure that out. If this is out on Wednesday and you actually watch it and you want to go to the 420 Festival with me next Saturday, let me know. I know I Facebook I know, message her. I, can, I know I could go to my with my my After kids. liking all of the faculties of her page, she might even buy you a ticket to go with her. Right? Yeah, just like everything and then write me a story, a, a little, little thesis, just a little like, you know, haiku of why you she like me. She has to buy a ticket so she can buy a friend to go with. <laughs> to buy a friend. I don't even have... Do I, can I phone a friend? I have some friends, okay? Do you? Yeah. You don't need to rent a friend? You know what? Let's test it out sometime and see if I can phone a friend in one of my Rolodexes and see if they answer the phone. Okay. Yeah, that would be fun. Would all your friends answer? Uh, any, That's the question. Yeah, anyone answers the phone when I call them. <sighs> all right. We should do prank calls and call some Let's places. do it. I've done that before. In fact, a, a friend of your sh- old crew... Used to do some with me on another podcast that was done a long time ago. And it was actually hilarious because she called a Rite Aid and convinced them that she lost one of those like little snapping, like the little red slider turtles. Yeah. That was like a, a, like a really expensive turtle in the shop, like in the store and had the guy in the store looking for it. Like, for a good 12 minutes on the phone? It was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. We can do that. We can do that. Well, producer Kev's telling us that we need to go eat our Wheaties with our sponsors, okay? And our sponsors here we currently... Got Wheaties? Yeah. We have um, our sponsors with Hellraiser uh, Clothing. They are sponsors of Distorted Reality Podcast. We also have um, Lisa Holt Photography. She sponsors and loves us. We have... Distorted Nation, and we have Reality Check TV, NorCal. These are all sponsors of Talks with Shell. We all are all one big family. We just kind of... Is it incestual? <laughs> We're not all related. You can't call us sponsors if uh, like I'm a part of Distorted Nation and I'm doing this show. It's not Why like... not? Why not? Is that, is, that, is that... That's what I'm saying. That's why I asked in the end. Is that like not okay? Because you're not, you're not related blood, and Kevin's not related to me, and Lisa's not related to me, and Hellraiser's not related to me, but we all somehow were, you know... We're all just partners in this, okay? Okay. We'll get some real sponsors to throw out some stuff, God, too, we need okay? some sponsors. We need to work. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the streets, so we'll stay tuned for some more, and thanks for watching Distorted Reality Podcast.